3x. Pilot tracing. Wait. Wait, wait! Stop! What's the problem, homie? Wait. Carbon-based life form. Check. Six feet tall. Check. Slightly excessive adipose tissue. Normal distribution. Check. Readings are... Readings are... Shoot. This little machine is broken again. Check. Star date 14-9-305. Time is... 789 past the Manc Meridian. We are clear. Whew. Greetings, CBL. Carbon-based life form. Greetings, homie. Have you seen them, CBL? Seen who? I don't know. They came to me last week. There was a brilliant joy and a terrible confusion. And they were laughing and screaming and crying all at once. And some said, Omega, we come in peace. And others said, we have come to enslave you. We are an infinitely intelligent race of super cosmic beings. And out of the six billion people on this planet, we have chosen you for no good reason. And just then they were about to abduct me and do experiments on me when their ship crashed. Man, you done lost your motherfucking mind. And now, I've got to find the pieces. Man, bullshit. Look, look. See this? Hmm? If you see some, if you see some, let me know. Yeah, yeah, okay, I will, man. Resuming data scan. What a freak!
you don't see me driving here? You gotta stop that guy! He jacked all my money! Lame-ass bitch! Don't look like you need this, dog. My good deed for the day. Incredible, dude. You should keep some of that for yourself. make no fucking sense.
sorry oh, about that, sweetie. Uh, shit. Okay. Oh. You gotta watch out, fool. Uh. Give me that car, dog.
Frank. Good to see you. Hey, sweet cheeks. I'm about to just sit here and keep it crack a lacking like a bag of knuckles, my Hello, baby. Can you ask the DJ hey, to play yo, some hardcore? Hey! Wanna go private, honey? God you damn. want a private dance or what? Okay, Jerkwad, it's your freaking money. Let's go somewhere with a little more privacy. A loser. I rock any color I want. And that you do know. Okay, that's a serious trip. I have changed my ways, all right? Yeah, I'm done with that crazy shit, all right? I want to square things away with Meriwether, make sure the agency ain't coming back after us, and then do one last big score, and then you get to go back with your family. Me, I'm just going to live here. I'm going to run this, this good business showing people a good time. B bust Brad out of prison, and then, you know, happy. <laughs> so how'd you come by this place anyway? I've had it for ages. So you must know Leon, the old manager. Leon? I didn't know. <laughs> yeah, whatever, man. So what's going on here? What's going on is the big one. A long, long time ago, in a faraway place, there were three guys. Michael, Trevor, and Lester. And Brad. Uh, yeah. Sure, Brad was there sometimes as well. I mean, there were other guys, though, too. So, uh... Anyway, we uh, robbed and lied and we hurt people. Pretty much lived a low-life kind of existence. But always dreaming of one thing and one thing only. The big one. The big one. The, the big, big one. one! What is the big one? <laughs> the Union Depository. Around 200 million in gold bricks, all taken from kindly Uncle Sam, who will spend the rest of our lives being hunted by government officials if we live through the attempt. But... But! It'll be my, uh, our masterpiece. So, gentlemen, let's do our civic duty and get out there and find some gainful employment. This way. Let's go. Big one. of 200 million. A maximum of 200 million if I can get the funds diverted and you pull it off. Still, come on, 20% of that's a lot of coin for sitting on your fat ass. Is it too much to ask for a little respect? Just a little? Because I respect you, Trevor. Strangely, I do. I can see how you're useful. Terrifying. Strangely, I do. I can see how you're useful. Terrifying, but useful. Oh. Well, I can think of a few uses for you, you chubby little ball of fun. I want your help. All 20% of 200 million of it. Actually, man, I've got another job I want your help with after this. Yeah, right. Whatever. No. Seriously.
Hey, we are uh, taking the temperature. That doesn't look like much. Man, security looks light. We send in a couple of sprung niggas, clap, clap. What are you talking about, Frank? Oh, I see it. Man, getting in the door is easy. It's a standard bank. It's getting underground as hard. Ain't that where the metal's kept? Right. Now we got to stop outside the Arcadia Center down on Alta Street. We can get a view of the back from there. Hey man, you might not notice it, but I picked up a few things rolling with you. I mean, there's times I think I gotta be the senior partner in the group. From the way you and Trevor behave. Ah, sorry. There's history there. Yeah, it still ain't fully been explained to me, though. No? Well, remind me to go over with you again sometime. But not now. Look, dawg. Light again, man. Yeah, fucking eerie, ain't it? Man, you think they put more than one motherfucker on our national fucking reserve? Yeah, huh? Well, maybe we really are broke. Trevor, how are you doing? Uh, well... Uh, I like clockwork, Mikey. I like clockwork. Thirteen thirty. We're an hour down, two to go. Do they call it a wasting disease because you waste people's time? Move it! Mike's observations fit with yours. Be careful not to get too close to the prison. We'll trip an alarm. Good point. Don't want them jumpy for the breakout. Ah, yeah. So far, yeah. The security's internal rather than external. It's quiet enough that any disturbance is going to get picked up immediately. But what those two don't know is there's a special team of cops on standby 24-7 waiting on a signal from the UD. Won't go out on any other call. And it's never been hit. Man, those guys must get bored. They may be cops, but they work for the government. There's nothing government workers love more than to accept tax dollars for doing nothing. Oh yeah, that and spying on innocent people. Hmm, getting paid to do nothing and spying on innocent people. Now, who does that remind me of? Anyway, if we want to hit the vault in a way that people will notice, the key will be to divert the security team. Divert it? You said they hold out for calls from the UD, and that's it. They do, so we'd have to hit it twice, once to distract them and once to get it done. You're gonna find someone willing to get caught hitting a super bank just as a distraction. I was thinking, Michael, it might appeal to his ego. Oh, what am I saying? We got the perfect guy for it. Come in, Michael! We have a visual on the convoy! Keep with him, T. Do whatever Les needs you to do. We need to stay with them and find the place to ambush! What kind of ambush spot are we looking for? I tend to wait in the jaw and catch them with their drawers down, but I guess that won't work here. No, it, uh, won't. We're looking for somewhere with cover for us and no escape routes for them. Ah, the same principle as a men's room. Yeah, uh, I guess. <laughs> Thank you. 
read that's down there in the channel will have red flags all over the place. Fine! What you thinking? I'm thinking I don't like being in close proximity to you for extended periods of time. And the same for short periods of time. Oh, there's ways to make minutes go by. Six in sight. Stand by. Hey, I was expecting you 30 seconds ago. Tell that to the traffic. <laughs> All right. Onion 86 in the building. Now, if I remember from planning the tool store job, they're excavating the new LS Metro Tunnel around here. They take us around the building and find the construction site. Roger that! Looking for a big asshole!
We got two ideas. It's gonna take a while to get them together or work them up, but I think there's a way. It's not impossible. All right. Well, start thinking about the breakout, too. Bradley Snyder, he's getting bored. Talk to Michael, okay? Goodbye. me. I shouldn't have called. P Patricia! Mrs. Madrazo! Hey! Are you behaving, Trevor? Oh, yeah. Yeah, sure. Patricia, I really miss you. A time together. It was, it was very important. I have to go. they deported you. Why do you care? Well, I don't. Except that they paid me some money. That must feel good. What a proud patriot you are. So, when are they kicking you out? They can't kick me out, stupid man. Why not? My family has been here 200 years. I'm more American than you. Not that there's anything to boast about. Well, I'm sorry. Well, at least you got paid. Yeah, well, don't get all serious, okay? Anybody can make a mistake. Perhaps now you want to kill me. Yeah, maybe, old man. Maybe not. You and your Civil Border Patrol friends. 
You're all the same. Ignorant fools trying to protect something that's not even there. They're not my friends. I spend enough time with them. Yeah, I spend a lot of time with fucking people I don't like, all right? It's one of my favorite hobbies. Civil Border Patrol, man. Fuck you! You wanna fucking die? You don't scare me. You owe my family a great debt. What? Our land is no longer safe. It's not my fault. You're so concerned. Clean it up for me. Your choice. And no, I will not give you one cent. Last I heard, your civil border patrol friends were bullying some people east of here at the Sancudo farm. Go left. Civil Border Patrol! Oh, I should never have gotten involved with those nut jobs. Last I heard, your Civil Border Patrol friends were bullying some people east of here at the Sancudo farm. Go left on Ocean Highway, you'll see them. Oh, fucking Civil Border Patrol! Hey, Joseph! Why don't you try that on me? Try that on me! Removed from the gene pool. Stay out of this, you dumb Canadian! Oh, you just... Civil Border Patrol disbanded.
Can I get a signature, sir? For what? <laughs> the most important fight of all. Poverty, huh? No, another most important fight. The AIDS. No, no, another one. Animal welfare. Legalization. Here, sign. Shit, where's my pen? Where's my pen? Legalization of what? Of things the Founding Fathers took as a right to consume medicinal plants. Legalized smoke? Yeah. You fucking kidding me? I make a shitload of money selling that, all right? The last thing I can handle is legalization. Now fuck off! Take a drag. No, I don't, I don't, I don't smoke it anymore. It interferes with the speed. No, it, it's really good weed. All right, give it here. Yeah. It's a real mellow contemplative high huh? that comes from the earth. <laughs> Those clowns over there. Slide. Don't you? Yeah! Who's laughing? 
thing now. Mm. Spoke too soon. Head spin, not good. And I suppose that's why they want to keep us suppressed. <laughs> Gosh, it's been really interesting talking to you. What the fuck was that, huh? It was horrible. Well, think about what I said. Where you headed, homie? Rockford Hills. Sure thing, man. That's the ride, my man. Hey, man. Fuck. What do you want? I'm your friend. I don't want anything, man. Come on, your company's good enough, huh? Same as always. Yeah, thanks. I really appreciate that. So, family ain't back yet, huh? <laughs> nope. Oh, she's a goddamn fool, man. Despite all the chaos of these last few weeks, I think I finally figured it out. I know, no. sounds ridiculous. No, actually, it does not sound ridiculous, you know? Because you, you're a killer. You know, you are a man of action. You do not sit on couches, you take scores. You're back, man. We are back, all right? All we gotta go do is bust out Brad and then we're golden, man. Franklin, he makes us multicultural. Lester makes it cyber. We're like modern America. We just get ourselves a gay friend. Bam! No, it's not it. I got money. It just makes you miserable. I want to make movies. Great. It's great. And uh, so where exactly does this leave me in the second act of your life? We're going to do this last big job. And then we're going to dissolve the partnership. This is not a game to me. All right, this is a fucking way of life. I got a fucking family. Yeah, well, I got nothing. No one gives a fuck about me. I do. Oh, fuck you. I saw your grave. I mourned you. And then it turns out that everything I fucking thought about you was wrong. Everything. You're not dead, and you're not a man. Well, what the fuck are you? I'm your fucking nightmare! Yeah, enough with your goddamn threats! Let me... Let me just ask you something, all right? Something I've been, I've been thinking about. Up in North Yankton, exactly who was buried in your place? I never gave it any thought. You know what I'm thinking? I had no clue. You treacherous piece of shit! You're fucking dead! You're fucking dead! Oh, fuck. Trevor! Hey! T! Come on, where are you going? You know where I'm going. Fuck you. You don't need to go all the way to North Yankton to find out what I can tell you over a couple beers back in my house. Come on, we'll order pizza. Fuck you. Fuck your pizza. Fuck everything it stands for. This is insanity. Oh, no. 
No, it's clear and reason thought. Finally. Come on. Come back. We'll talk. I'm not gonna listen to another one of your lies. Hey, I'll lay it all out for you. Everything. Turn around. I'm going up there to see it for myself. You'll be disappointed. <laughs> Oh, I'll be something. It'll be an anti-climax. The grave's empty. Just a bag of sand, something like that. Just smoke and mirrors. Lies! How do you do it, man? The game is up. I'm trying to save you a trip. You've done me enough favors, buddy, right? Save your fucking breath. Trevor, come on. Fuck you, Michael. Soon enough, I will. Trevor? It's great to, uh... They're a plane I can use. Get me across country. Sure. Sure. We got one fueled up for a trip south of the border. I'm taking it. Is everything okay, man? Everything is not okay. Nothing has ever been okay, but I gotta see it for myself. I'm gonna see an old friend, all right? You're where I think you are, buddy. I don't know why I didn't see it. I guess... I guess I didn't want to. Fuck! Maybe I knew all along. I'm gonna find out for sure, and I'm gonna do something about it. There's always something wrong with that job. What went down after, I guess. I guess I wanted to believe fucking... Fucking play circus! Idiot! 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 I'm sorry, Trevor.
Who you got in here, huh? As if I need to ask. Hey, you're wasting your time. Is that why you flew out here? Huh? Tell me I'm wasting my time? Go ahead, dig it up. I don't give a shit. Yeah, that's what you look like. The guy who doesn't give a shit? That's ridiculous. How long are you gonna keep lying for, Mikey, huh? When's it gonna stop? What happens in the dark? Comes out in the light. I'll give it a rest, Trevor. There's nothing there! Uh, this is it. Moment of truth. As if I didn't know. Brad! Look, we do what we gotta do to survive. This thing, it didn't work out the way it was supposed to. Oh, and how was that, huh? With Brad in the can and me in the ground, or, 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 or both of us in the coffin? Brad got shot, you saw it! He didn't make it. I got shot, I did, that's, that's it! I think the only thing that didn't go as planned was me showing up on your doorstep 10 years later. Mikey, I mourned you. And I missed you. But I got a fucking family, Trevor. We were all gonna die. He did die. You reptilian motherfucker! I didn't want it to come to this. Yes, you did! You just don't have the fucking balls to do it! But I do! I got more to lose than you. Never a truer word has been spoken, brother. Now pull the fucking trigger! You ain't got the guts. Take the fucking shot! Who is that? Fuck! 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 Fuck. Joe Phillips! Mr. Cho has requested a word! Hey, ho, ho! I'm not the guy you're looking for! Hey, how's it been? How's it been? Get the boyfriend! Boyfriend? You motherfucker. What the hell are you doing? So, who are your pals, Trevor? Get out of the van! Find it! You see it? Hey, can't we do this where the weather's better? And another man. <laughs> okay. How many guys you send up here? 
You got nowhere to go, boyfriend. All right, all right. Get out the fucking car. Trevor Phillips Industries. Mr. Phillips, this is Wei Chang. You know my eldest son Tao? Yeah, the ex-nut. Backed out of a contract we agreed on. How is he? Still learning the ropes, thank you. My friends miss you in North Yankton. I was hoping we could talk. Ha! <laughs> was that your people? Ah, oh, of course. Sorry I had to cut out. Your operation causes problem for me. I want to expand into Blaine County. But your business and your temperament prevent me from making inroads. Oh, well, too bad. I don't know what you can do about that. I've already done something. We have your lover. Whoa, 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 whoa. My lover? Michael DeSanta. You live in your trailer together with the maid. And then you were alone in that big house. Well, you're clearly very close. You know, how much will you give up for his safety. <laughs> My lover! Yeah, right! It's a tough break. I never want to double-cross a friend and put him in danger, but you gotta do what you gotta do. My business ain't going anywhere. I'm serious about this. He will die. Tell him I love him dearly.
Lamar Davis, what's up? I'm part of the team. That's what's up. Team? I don't do teams. Uh, Devin Weston's car still a team? The one Frank's running. Oh, oh yeah, that one. Hey, look, I boosted the ride. I'm about to meet your boy Franklin, and I need your ass to pick up the Packer, meet us outside the garage, and we taking these motherfuckers up to Polito Bay. All right, buddy. I Fine. Devil That's a long brain. trip. He waiting at the garage. That is a beautiful one. The boost home. How'd it go? Any problems? You know me, fool. Yeah, I do know you, fool. So what you think? Smooth as silk. I'm thinking where the blood stains and the bullet holes and shit. Man, fuck. That amateur shit behind me, I'm a professional now. Like you and them old dudes. So tell me what happened. I saw the ride, I took the ride. No drama. No security. No one said, who the fuck is this gangly motherfucker doing in my car? Nothing. That's worrying, man. That's some shady ass shit. Man, shit. Line it up on the carrier, homie. There she is, homie. We straight. The boss man's happy. Then we'll get moving. Man, this old bust-ass nigga ain't no boss. Enough, nigga. Get your ass in the truck. Let's go. Sonora Freeway, past Paletto Bay. Hey, it's, uh, cozy in here. Scooch up, homie. Yeah. Scooch over here. Scooching in that crazy dude? Oh, hell no, that nigga stank. Get over here. I don't bite. That ain't what I heard. All cannibalistic and shit. Frank, what you been telling me? I say what I see, homie. You dig on man me. Ah, uh, rumor and hearsay. We got a long way to go. I'd get comfortable. All right, nigga, but don't try nothing. How far is it? In this thing? Yeah, about four hours. Shit. It's your operation, Slick. Shit, if you all right driving, I'm gonna catch up on some sleep. Go for it. It's all right being the boss. You're meant to be running things, but this fool sleep. Yeah, I'll be asleep when your ass stop talking, nigga. Some boss. Hey, man, where that other dude? The dude that creeped on that dude. Michael, his creeping days are done. Well, what you mean? He stopped creeping? No more creeping for him. He, like, retired? From, from creeping. From everything. That's funny, cause, like, the boy Frank didn't mention shit about that. And as a matter of fact, I don't even know the dude. But considering the mutual acquaintances we got, I would have liked an invite to the retirement party. There weren't no party. No party? I use the term retirement euphemistically. Homie, for a dude that kills dudes and eats dudes and fuck dudes, you talk fruit. It's unconfirmed. <laughs> What's unconfirmed? The fact that you talk stupid or the fact that you do some messed up shit? Or where the other dudes at? Like, maybe he's deep. The last one. Oh shit, man. Fuck. Do Frank know about this? I don't know if Franklin knows, but let's just let him sleep. Shit. Yeah, it's a bummer. But you know, he wasn't the good guy you made out. Man, dude was a killer, a thief, a liar, and irritable as shit. Yeah, a liar. 
Above all else, fucking liar. Homie, you sound like some bitch he ain't called. Like, uh, he lied to me. I am some bitch he didn't call for ten years. Fuck, man, he fucked you. The fucker got fucked. Damn. He fucked the fucker himself. Shut up. Man, the first time's always special. I hope he was gentle with you. Enough of that. And enough about me fucking. I don't do that. As a rule. Maybe when I got to LS, I was I was a little overwhelmed by the place. I had a lot of control. But that ain't who I am, for the most part. But the Michael fucked you. Yeah. The Michael fucked me. And the Michael fucked Brad. And the Michael ran off with the FIB. Brad? Who? Who the fuck is Brad? Brad is our boy back from the dead. And Michael killed him? Michael got him killed. He died when Michael faked his death. I thought Michael died and Brad was in the pen, when actually Brad was in the ground and Michael was in hiding. And now Michael's dead and it's all okay? Michael's current condition is unconfirmed. I said that. But if he was dead, you'd be cool because of this Brad dude who died whenever. <sighs> yes. Man, I thought you and Michael were tight. So did I. Okay, that make a lot of fucking sense. It's a lonely old road, ain't it? Lonely? Hey, I couldn't say. I mean, not really. A road's a road. It ain't got abandonment issues. Truckers on the blacktop making do? I don't need to make do. I need to make snaps on these rides. Sure. Yeah, the time will come. It's what happens before we get paid is what? Franklin's asleep. It's just me and you. What? What you trying to say? You want me to jack you off or something? Jesus, no. God, no. Of course not. Unless... Man, you's a sick fiend. Just fiending for some friendship. Friendship? Right, whatever, man. It's just... Truckers are a symbol in this country. No part of its mythology like cowboys, gangsters, hobos, gangbangers. Truckers are about the unsexiest myth I ever heard. Apart from hobos. Uh, maybe tied with hobos. Freedom. Loners in the night. You know what truckers do? Cut up women and get other dudes to jack them off. Come to think about it, aside from not lugging freight around the country, you got about all the necessary prerequisites for a fine career in haulage. No shame in that. If you don't want to get paid or enjoy human contact. Money's bullshit. So is friendship. All right, all right, all right. I see you still touching. How's Franklin doing over there? Aw, uh, dude getting paid to sleep. Don't even worry about him. Ah, uh, sleep of innocence. So he, like, in charge on this one? You work for him? He's a kind of figurehead. Puppet, if you like. With Devin Weston's hand up his ass. Right up to the elbow. That dude, real sick. It's repulsive, but well, once he's paid us, he can be whatever we want him to be. What you want him to be? I want him to be someone who understands that all the money in the world can't save him from a nasty guy who thinks he's an asshole. Now that's something I want to see. So, uh, tell me, man, how y'all end up meeting? Michael introduced us. Me and Frank didn't exactly travel in similar circles. Nah, I mean the creeper. Michael? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Yeah, you know. Sorry, I don't want to reminisce. The wounds ain't healed. You such a delicate little old bitch, ain't you? Where your pussy at? What you got in there? Screw you! That's good. Let it out, homie. Go on, let it out. Vent. Oh, shit. What's happening? Wake up, you dozy motherfucker. One time was on a ride. What you gonna do, oh fearless leader? All right, shit. I'll handle this. If you keep driving, I'll use the JB-700 to get rid of him. Devin's lawyer said there'd be some new hardware on board. Hey, take this headset. Trailer. Hook it back up. You unhooked it, man. 
We ain't leaving them whips. Attach that shit! Man, this ain't hood. Man, let me see if I can get some of these cops off you. This falls under attorney-client privilege. Mm. We got that shipment, you know? Cops is all over it, but we lost them. Where exactly you at? Procopio truck stop. Get here soon. The lawyer chicks up at the Procopio truck stop. to the legal counsel woman. Get us paid. Yeah, I heard about that CEO pay shit. Just make sure it's fair salary for the workforce, motherfucker. Yeah, what he said. You taking care of it. Head back to town. Hello, Franklin. Yeah, where Devin at? Somewhere meditating or ripping somebody off? In light of the drama your efforts caused, we felt it was not perhaps the best idea for you two to be seen together for a while. Where's the money? Mr. Weston is one of the most brilliant investors the world has ever known. He's obviously a maverick, but he's also rigorous in his research. Yeah, he may be brilliant. Look, let me be the first to tell you. He ain't gonna fall in love with your ass. Now where the fuck is my money? The best thing that could have happened to you in this situation has happened. He is going to hold your money, invest it in his Alpha Fund, and make the funds available to you at a time as the transfer will not induce any undue attention. Which is a polite way of saying I'm getting robbed? Are you fucking kidding me? That is a short-sighted and frankly immature way of seeing things, Mr. Clinton. Let's go. I boost cars and pop motherfuckers. Maturity is not really my fucking thing.
Franklin. What's happening, Lester? Hey, look, you seen Michael? Man, the contact he set me up with is holding out on the payment, dawg. Huh. Uh, let's see, his phone is offline. His credit cards aren't active. This is aberrant behavior. Hmm, last usage is for a flight to North Yankton. There, there was a signal from his cell back in Los Santos, but now nothing. Damn. Is he in the city, dawg? Shit, he could be in trouble, huh? I don't know, but it's worth speaking to Trevor. Most likely he was with him in the Midwest. I'll get him to come see you. Shit, all right, homie. Look, send him to my aunt's crib, all right?